Canton Jura is planning to build a geothermal plant here in Otsorn, providing electricity for 6,000 households by the year 2020. Previous geothermal projects in other parts of the country had to be stopped after triggering earthquakes. This is a good spot, since there's a lot of space. We're just outside an industrial zone, and we're not in a suburb. In the event of seismic activity, only a few houses would be affected. Switzerland has had bad luck with geothermal energy projects so far. St. Gallen had to abandon its project after causing an earthquake of 3.5 on the Richter scale in 2013. Several buildings were damaged. Earlier on, in 2006, geothermal drilling in Basel caused an earthquake of 3.4, again leading to damaged buildings. After several aftershocks, the Basel project also had to be halted. Despite these failures, the Jura government is positive about its own project. We have learned from previous mistakes. We have an intelligent strategy wherein every individual step will be analyzed meticulously before proceeding. To use geothermal energy, water heats up by being pumped into hot rock layers. The hot water and steam returns to the surface via a second tube and leads to power turbines, which produce electricity. But before water can actually circulate, the dense stone layers have to be made porous. This is done by pumping water under high pressure into the hot rock layers, which create horizontal cracks. The project in Basel tried to produce a vast system of cracks in one go. It showed that this method significantly increased the risk of earthquakes. So what will change this time? In Basel, had man also versucht, erstens sehr schnell in Basel the aim was to quickly build up a lot of cracks, but the Jura project will proceed step by step. They will create smaller cracks and pause after every new crack to analyze the data. This strategy is more expensive, but has been successful abroad. The geothermal plant in Germany's Innsheim is similar in size and construction to the plant planned in Jura. It has been producing electricity for 6,000 households for three years now. There were hardly any seismic movements, in part because lower water pressure was necessary. Despite this new approach in Jura, there is resistance. An initiative by local residents aims to stop the project. We'd like a moratorium in order to have more time to research the technology, to better understand how to blast the underground layers in order to avoid earthquakes. At the moment, there's still hope for the opponents. The financing of the 100 million franc geothermal project is not yet secured.